Hi, I'm Dave Thau from the Google Earth Engine team, and I'm here to tell you about Google Earth Engine. Earth Engine is a platform for running planetary scale geospatial analyses using Google infrastructure. In this video, I'll introduce Earth Engine and the tools you can use to access it. Satellites have been collecting Earth observation data for decades, but it's been difficult to access that information. And there's so much data that even if you could access it, it's very difficult to analyze. At Google, we've overcome these difficulties by downloading petabytes of satellite data, putting them on spinning disk in our data centers, and providing tools and an API for analyzing the data quickly and easily. All analyses are run in parallel across many machines in the Google Cloud. Our data catalog includes over 40 years of public satellite data, elevation data, atmospheric data, and more. We also provide tools to let you upload your own private data or share it as you'd like. We've used Earth Engine internally, where we've analyzed almost a petabyte of data using thousands of CPUs to create the 15 meter resolution cloud-free image of the Earth that acts as the satellite base map for Google Maps and Google Earth. Now we're providing the same tools and APIs to developers and researchers outside of Google who've been using it to do things like monitor forest cover change globally, detect surface water also globally, and estimating the risk of infectious disease outbreaks. Earth Engine can be accessed using a graphical user interface at explorer.earthengine.google.com, which you see here. And it can also be accessed using an integrated development environment available at code.earthengine.google.com. And it can be accessed via a Python API. Here's the development environment. As you can see, the developer environment has four panels. The upper left panel provides code samples, documentation, and a place where you can upload your own data. The center panel is where you type and run your Earth Engine scripts. And the upper right panel is a place for debugging information and a place to view charts. Finally, the map below is where you can instantly see the results of your analysis on the map. Let's look at the linear fit example in the code samples section. Clicking on the code sample brings up the code in the center panel. As you may be able to tell, this code is JavaScript. While the Earth Engine API has both JavaScript and Python bindings, the code editor is targeted towards JavaScript development. Clicking on run in the center panel runs the script. This particular example shows how the brightness of global lights at night have changed between 1991 and 2016. Red areas have become increasingly bright, and blue areas have become increasingly dim. This example applies a simple statistic to measure change over time globally. The Earth Engine API supports operations that range from basic math to complex machine learning algorithms. We'll go more deeply into both Earth Engine API and the development environments in future tutorials. Earth Engine is available for free for non-commercial use. For commercial applications, see our Frequently Asked Questions page. If this all sounds interesting to you and you think you have a good use for Earth Engine, please sign up for access using the sign up link here. Thanks for listening. I'm Dave Thau, and I'll see you in the next Earth Engine tutorial.